In your Capital Connection tonight, we are talking about the future of guns in Virginia. You're watching 8 News at 530. I'm Eric Phillips. I'm Deanna Albritton. The House and Senate have both passed bills to ban the sale of assault weapons. Our new estate news reporter Jamal Williams is in the Digital Center with a live update. So Jamal, what are people saying about the potential of this measure actually making it to the governor's desk? Well, Deanna, Eric, as you know, gun control has been a heavily debated topic for years. Today, I talk with people on opposing sides of this argument, one saying more legislation is the way to go, and the other feels it's an attack on Second Amendment rights. So they're picking the most popular rifle and trying to make it illegal. It's not going to fly. Both Senate and House Democrats passed bills that force stricter gun laws in the state. Now, Virginia Defense League President and Second Amendment advocate Philip Van Cleef says the real assault has been on lawful gun owners like himself. That's not going to stop crime. That's like taking all the sober drivers off the road and expecting drunk drivers to suddenly stop driving drunk. It doesn't work that way. Both bills aim to end the purchase of possession, transfer, or sale of assault rifles in the state. The bill that passed in the House would also make the possession of assault weapons a Class 1 misdemeanor, which would mean up to 12 months in jail and a fine of up to $2,500. This is not gonna be any more successful, except this is not an illegal commodity. This is a protected civil right. Civil right, why aren't the Democrats protecting a civil right the same way the Republicans are? Gun control advocate Andrew Goddard says otherwise. For 17 years, he's worked with the Virginia Center for Public Safety and felt the need to speak out about gun violence when his son was shot several times during the Virginia Tech shooting in 2007. We shouldn't be a society that lives in constant fear of going to the supermarket or going to the theater or going to any other place and being mowed down by somebody with a, a military style gun. Carter says the likelihood of one of these bills getting vetoed by Governor Yunkin is high, but it doesn't mean they shouldn't try for reform. If he wants to represent the people of Virginia, he has to think about what the people of Virginia really want. We're talking thousands of people, thousands of people every year who are going to be either lucky and probably wounded, maimed, or even paralyzed in some cases for the rest of their lives. Echoing Garter's thoughts, Van Cleef says he's confident Youngkin will veto a bill, uh, veto a gun control bill like what's been proposed and any other measures that restrict access to guns. Live in the Digital Center, Jamal Williams, 8 News.